Hello everyone! Welcome to the operation demonstration video of KN Tech Telephone System. We will now begin to introduce the equipment composition. An OCC SIP server hardware, a BCC SIP server hardware, network management server hardware, OCC scheduling software and BCC scheduling software, and network management software. We have four SIP dispatch telephones, four SIP waterproof telephones. Now we'll take the Metro project as an example. We have the OCC station, BCC station, church gate station, cuff parade station. Each station is equipped with a telephone extension number, an OCC dispatcher number, and a BCC dispatcher number. We can clearly see each extension number from the dispatcher GUI. From the network management interface, you can quickly locate the geographic location and status of each device. You can double click to see the detailed location and health status of the extension. You can directly select the extension on the software and click the call button to initiate a call or hang up. By selecting the extension number on the network management interface, you can set perimeters for all phones and batches all at once. And you can also set perimeters for a single or multiple phones. The navigation map for you to quickly check the situation of each site. The mouse near the site will immediately display the extension number and name. The blue color indicates an online standby. The gray indicates offline and the red indicates an alarm. For example, the gray means that the extension is offline. Now it is turning blue when the network cable is connected and red when the network cable is unplugged. It will turn gray after the alarm is completed. The following is an introduction to the VoIP dispatch phone. Handset, keyboard, display screen, incoming call indicator, adjustable volume button, hands-free extension station 8x4 as 32 DSS keys per page with a total of 6 pages and a total of 192 DSS keys. Each DSS key has an independent display username or extension number. The emergency phone has a red hands-free call button, a red status indicator, and a stainless steel panel with braille prompt feel, which is convenient for the disabled. When you close the door cover of the phone, you can see the big phone prompt, logo, and open door opening instructions, and the body post shows the manufacturer's information and product serial number. The waterproof rate of the help phone is IP66. The following is the waterproof test process of IP66. First, we put the phone on the test cylinder fixing table, and then we fix the novel. We will adjust the novel with an inner diameter of 12.5 millimeters, and the distance between the nozzle and the sample shell is 3 meters. Select the waterproof grade of the sample and set the water flow to 100 plus or minus 5 liters per minute. Click to start the test. At this time, the testing machine starts spraying water. The water spraying time per square meter of the shell surface is about one minute, and the test time is at least three minutes. After spraying water, we'll make a phone call to test that the call is normal. Test is now completed. The blue signal light is always on, and there is a sticker on the body to display the product serial number. SIP server software scheduling interface to view call queues. The help phone will initiate a call. If the dispatcher of the first station does not answer the call, the call will automatically transfer to the OCC dispatcher. If the OCC dispatcher does not answer, the call will be transferred to the BCC dispatcher. The dispatching stations that did not answer will receive a missed call prompt. In the anti-noise test, 
The computer will play the noise of incoming subway cars, and the call is clear when the noise is as high as 110 decibels. Call queue. Four phones respectively initiate two queues. When a call is answered, the system automatically refreshes the call queue. The dispatcher can transfer any call to another dispatcher. The first helpline is in a call with the dispatcher of the station, and the second helpline initiates a call again. If the dispatcher of the station is busy, the call will be transferred to the second dispatcher, OCC Dispatch Center, and the third dispatch center to call in turn. The call will continue until answered. The IP address of 127 is the main OCC server, and the blue extension is the registered phone. The IP address of 128 is the BCC backup server, and the extension color is gray. Unplug the network cable of the BCC server, and the alarm page of the network management will turn red immediately, indicating that the BCC is disconnected. When the BCC server is disconnected, it will not affect the operation and calls of the OCC server. The following introduces the details of the network management. This is the software and hardware of the network management server. Enter the IP address and port number of the network management server. Enter the username and password. Then click the menu button to view the version number of the network management software. Click menu, system log, date and time, event description, where the event occurred. Unplug the telephone network cable. The network management shows gray to indicate offline, and the SIP software interface shows gray offline. Click on the network management system information. You can see the memory space, and you can set and adjust the memory space size by yourself. The OCC SIP server is synchronized with the BCC SIP service server information. Confirm normal operation on the network management system and the interface of OCC and BCC servers. OCC server is the main server on duty. Modify the extension number 50390 to 5555 in the OCC system. Click Save and the BCC server will automatically synchronize the action of modifying this extension number. Switching in between OCC and BCC. Now we can unplug the OCC's network cable. The network management interface immediately indicates that the OCC is disconnected. The BCC, with the IP address 128, immediately becomes the main working server and all telephones are registered to the BCC server one by one. You can see that the color of the extensions displayed on the BCC scheduling interface changes from gray to blue one by one. All phone calls are normally processed. Dispatch console drop test. Unplug the 50390 network cable of the dispatcher and a red warning disconnection message will appear on the network management interface immediately. Since the station 50390 is dropped, the call for emergency telephones will be automatically transferred to the second dispatcher OCC center. NTP offline alarm test. We use a laptop as the clock system. Now, we unplug the network cable of the clock system, and the network management system immediately receives an alarm message. The NTP server is disconnected. Now, we connect the network cable of the clock system. The network management system prompts, the NTP server is connected successfully. 
When OCC is dropped, established calls will not be affected. We see that the OCC SIP server with IP address 127 is working normally. The BCC server is in standby state. Now we have established a call. On the OCC software, we can see that the color of the call extension is green, indicating that the call is in process. Unplug the network cable of the OCC server. Now the OCC server with IP address 127 is disconnected and no interface is displayed. The IP address is 128. The BCC server starts to work and the extension color changes to blue one by one. The original call established before the OCC dropped remains in the ongoing call, which does not affect the current call. Hong Kong Kuhn Technology Limited has provided industrial telephone systems for the following projects. Australia Sydney Metro, Singapore Metro, Singapore Airport, Hong Kong Metro and Hong Kong Airport, Shenzhen Metro, Guangzhou Metro, Hangzhou Metro, etc. The encryption algorithm of the system is uniquely developed by the Kuhn Technology R&D team to ensure the security of the audio and video database. If you have more needs for our products, please visit the official website www.kuntech.com for consultation. Thanks for watching.